This is BuilderDude35 here, and in this week's tutorial, I'm going to be comparing the EV3 large motor with the old NXT motor. The EV3 large and NXT motors look the same on first glance, and on paper they are very similar. However, in practice, there are a few small differences between them that make choosing the right one crucial to building any robot, whether it be for FLL or WRO, or just a fun robot at home. So I'm going to be exploring the differences between these two motors right now. So first I'll discuss the exterior features of these motors. And as I mentioned before, they look pretty similar on first glance. What you'll notice is that the NXT motor right here has three mounting holes here on either side, three mounting holes underneath the electrical port, but nothing on top, whereas the EV3 motor does have three mounting holes on top, and that makes it a little more versatile for mounting in the back. The EV3 motor, where the NXT motor has these three holes, instead has a cross hole in the middle here, and again making it more versatile, and there's another cross hole here. The NXT motor with these three holes on top has a bit of an angle iron here, whereas the EV3 motor does not. And this is nice for the EV3 motor because you can have a beam running across like this, whereas with the NXT motor that angle piece will get in the way and you can't make a beam run across. Of course the EV3 motors looks a little bit more futuristic. It's um, a little boxier as opposed to the NXT's smoother lines but that's just cosmetic that doesn't really have anything to do with the function. The biggest difference between the NXT motor and the EV3 motor is you'll see that the knob on the EV3 motor is set down one stud relative to the NXT motor. As a result the NXT motor sits flat whereas the EV3 motor does not. But the great advantage of this being on the EV3 motor is that if you were to take a straight beam and mount it on these holes back here just as so and you wanted to run an axle through the knob, now you can. An axle would run straight through into this beam and be nicely supported. And it's just simple because you just mount the beam on. However, the NXT does not have its knob offset like this. So if you were to mount a beam in the same way, the cross axle does not go through the beam, which is unfortunate because it's much more difficult to support an axle off of an NXT motor in this way as compared to the EV3 motor. So that's pretty much the exterior differences of the NXT and the EV3 motors. Next I'll go over their differences in mechanical properties. So next let's talk about the gearing that's inside of these motors. And we can only surmise as to what's inside um, without taking them apart. However, as far as anyone knows they are actuated by the same core as are the PFXL motors but we can do a little bit of testing to see how they behave inside. The first one, uh, first test that we can do is we can listen to how they sound differently if we turn them by hand and listen to what they sound like. So let's have a listen to the EV3 motor. And now the NXT motor. As you can hear, the EV3 motor has a deeper, more subdued whine when you turn it whereas the NXT motor is definitely louder and much shriller. And this you'll also notice during operation of these motors when they're running under their own power. The NXT motor is significantly louder and a lot more shrill. And um, I don't know if this is something that you guys mind. I usually don't, um, unless it's like I'm building a car or something and my parents yell at me because the NXT motors are too loud. I don't know if you guys have that problem. But the NXT motor is definitely louder, so when developing the EV3 motor they probably LEGO probably put a little more effort into sound deadening or making more efficient gears in terms of sound. Next I made a small little program to measure the maximum RPM of these motors where I set each to 100% power and measured their RPM. I found the NXT motor got between 145 and 148 RPM and the EV3 motor was slightly higher between 148 and 152 RPM. Now this is not necessarily a significant difference but the EV3 motor is slightly faster here. I have seen many other people on the internet claim that the difference is larger whereas the NXT motor is about 145 and the EV3 motor is closer to 170. This could be based on my battery level but my findings show that the RPMs 
uh, for the EV3 motors are a little bit higher, but not necessarily enough to be statistically significant. Next we'll talk about torque of the motors, and this is where the differences start to become more apparent. I didn't have my own materials to do instrumented tested of the torque, but Philo Herbane, hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right, um, did a test, and you can find it on his webpage, and he found that NXT motors had 50 newton centimeters of stall torque, whereas the EV3 motors only had 43 newton centimeters of stall torque, and that's a significant difference. He also found that the NXT motors had higher running torque than the EV3 motors, and this is something that I can back up with real-world evidence myself. I noticed this two years ago when I faced my two Kimosabi robots, one with an NXT driving NXT motors, and the other with an EV3 with EV3 large motors, and I found that the NXT motors themselves seem to have slightly more torque, and that's why the NXT Kimosabi seem to win more often than the EV3 Kimosabi, just because the NXT motors just had just a slight bit more torque, and it was able to edge out the EV3 and overwhelm its motors that had slightly less torque. So in conclusion, we can say that the NXT motors are slightly torquier than the EV3 motors. So to wrap things up, would I recommend using either an NXT or an EV3 large motor over the other? Not exactly. What I do recommend is using whichever of these two motors better fits into your design, because as I explained before, they have a slightly different shape and slightly different mounting points that could make one or the other easier to incorporate into your design. Um, if you have a build that requires uh, a significant amount of stall torque, I would recommend using the NXT motor, but if you only have EV3 motors, it's not too big of a difference. Um, where all of a sudden your machine wouldn't work if you used EV3s. For most applications, they're going to be interchangeable. Thanks for watching my tutorial this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.